Hey everyone, in the news this week. England beat Ireland 2-0 in a strange football game. It was a win on Irish style with a manager who used to play for Ireland and the goals were both scored by former Irish players. Although I guess stealing rice makes a change from when the English went over to steal the potatoes. Grenfell Tower was back in the news as it seems the maintenance, eventual demolition and memorial will have cost the government £340 million. Ooh, they must have money to burn, or is that in poor taste? France finally got a Prime Minister in the form of Michel Barnier, who was once described as the Joe Biden of French politics, meaning he'd been in politics for decades with plenty of experience and insight. And now his detractors can join in too, describing him as the Joe Biden of French politics, but as a pejorative now, presumably in the new job he's going to be presiding over the Ukraine situation. And it reminds me of a quote from Jack Chirac, who once said, quote, as far as I'm concerned, war always means failure, to which Rush Limbaugh responded, as far as France is concerned, you're right. It's like the old joke about how Paris has all those tree-lined boulevards because the Germans like to march in the shade, but now they're obviously cutting them all back because the Arabs like to march in the sun. And finally, Angela Rayner was seen in Ibiza at a rave. She currently has the same position as Michael Gove's old job, and he's someone who was also seen in Ibiza under similarly strange circumstances, although I guess that dancing in a nightclub makes a change from dancing on the graves of pensioners. Anyway, see you next week. Like, these, click, subscribe.